Well, good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the Daily Gratitude News on Monday, July 13th on 2020. And coming right off of Sunday on the weekend when a lot of people practice their faith and go to church and uh, experience religion, I thought it'd be a good time to talk a little bit about the spiritual aspect of gratitude as far as the news around that. So today's information on the news is gratitude increases spiritualism. Spiritual transcendent is, transcendence is highly correlated with feelings of gratitude. That is, the more spiritual you are, the more you are likely to be grateful. There are two reasons for this spiritual slash gratitude connection. Nearly all major religions espouse gratitude as a virtue. Spirituality spontaneously gives rise to grateful behavior. I believe the opposite to be true also that gratitude spontaneously gives rise to spiritual attribution, helping one feel closer to God or other religious entities. Why does spirituality give rise to grateful behavior? Many of the subtraits associated with spirituality are the same subtraits associated with gratitude. For example, spiritual individuals are more likely to feel a strong spiritual or emotional connection with others and to believe in interconnectedness. Both with prerequisites for feeling gratitude, or both are prerequisites for feeling gratitude, someone who feels weak connections with others and who believes in the illusion of self-sufficiency is unlikely to feel gratitude. Gratitude makes us less self-centered. I'll be totally honest, I'm a, little, I'm a self-centered dwarf, the person said. I'm a lot better now that I brought gratitude into my life, they said, but I still spend way too much time thinking about myself and too little time thinking about others. Interesting perspective from that gentleman. I expect this to change because of my compassion and gratitude practices. I am starting to have spontaneous urges to help others. This is because the very nature of gratitude is to focus on others on their acts of benevolence. In this regard, gratitude practice can be better than self-esteem therapy. Self-esteem therapy focuses on the individual back on themselves. I'm smart, I look good, I can succeed, etc. This That can work and can also make us narcissistic or ultimately even backfire and negatively affect our self-esteem. So nice segue into tomorrow. We're gonna to talk about self-esteem tomorrow and the gratitude daily news and how self-esteem and gratitude are connected. In fact, how practicing an attitude to gratitude can help your self-esteem. So that's in the news for tomorrow. Have a great week and we'll see you tomorrow.